Bree first. Welcome back to another episode of Zoe Tink Boys. In this episode, there's crazy, crazy, crazy stuff going on. I got a bunch of new coral torches, torches, torches. I got hair algae. So in this video, we're gonna look at all the new coral. I'm also gonna get rid of some of the hair algae because guess what? Reefapalooza is right around the corner. Let's go. All right, reefers. So this aquarium, there's been a lot of ups and downs. So I just realized I talked high level in my old video, the video I put last week of when I got the torches. They've been in here ever since. Full polyp extension, super, super happy. So I can't wait to show you guys what that looks like. Um, but the hair algae, why am I getting hair algae? So if you guys have been following the channel, you know this aquarium is, is, is new, but it's not new, right? So I transferred all my rocks, a lot of the existing core from the Red C350, which is roughly about a 90 gallon aquarium, but this tank is significantly larger. So it's almost going through that in-between phase of I'm new, but I'm not new because of all the beneficial bacteria that I transferred over. So I bought a cool little toothbrush, brand new, just so I can remove as much of this hair algae as possible. I am gonna be doing a huge water change. Um, just to give you a little backstory, parameters. Nitrates sit about 25 to 50 ppm. To some people that might be like, oh my God, it's so high. Me personally, I've always ran my aquariums with a little bit of higher nitrate. As long as your beneficial bacteria can support that. So because this aquarium is a little new, it's still finding that middle ground. So I am gonna do a water change, pull some of the hair algae out. Uh, my phosphate, we're sitting at 0.32, of course, a little high, thus the hair algae. So I've been little by little removing it, um, uh, dosing phosphate E, but consistency is key. So right now, um, I'm gonna do, take care of some of that. I'm also gonna show you the aquarium and I gotta glue some <coughs> coral down. Whoa, 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 the camera lady is sneezing. So enough talking, let's get in here and take a look at this aquarium. There's a you guys hear that? That's my dogs. My dogs want to start filming, baby. They want to play with the toys. All right. So now I'm back. As you guys can see, the torches are doing fantastic. It's been a couple weeks since they've been in the aquarium. That dragon tamer is splitting to me. That's a whole, that looks like a holy grail. Um, splitting. Indo Gold, uh, Hellfire. I um, mean, you guys gave me some pretty cool names in the last video. Um, split. So we got two heads and it's splitting into three. And this beautiful puppy is doing fantastic. So the tangs are doing great. Purple tang doing great. Cool little fact. You guys just saw the mimic tang take a piece of nori. That's terrible glare. That is the first time I've ever seen that mimic tangy nori. So that's a good sign. I have two clips. There's one right here, which I put in right before um, I started filming actually this morning. And there's another one back there. Every time I wake up, they're completely cleaned, um, which I also thought was super weird because I never saw them picking at it. But there's the red, there's the innovative marine lagoon. We got a lot of space right here. A lot of space between the torches. So I'm debating what I truly want to do. Do I want to add a torch in that little spot right there? Maybe, maybe not. Um, I know people believe that torches can touch each other. I, I, I don't know if I agree with that. I agree, but I don't know if I agree with it because I have seen torches be all happy and dandy and the moment I put them too close, Everything is good, and then they go AWOL, almost like anemones. You guys see that huge black widow back there? Which, by the way, it's a beast. I recently traded in um, one of the babies that split off, and the baby was like five or six inches. And that one right there is, a, I mean, it's seven, eight inches. I mean, it's, it's huge. Um, but yeah, so that's why I always try to give my torches a little bit of space around each other. This torch right here 
insane polyp extension as you can see and it's probably because he senses space invader pectinia which by the way massive look at that sweeper down there he and of course that hammer so i've been debating grabbing that hammer and putting him whoop right there that way i have that whole ledge open but so far so good my sweater is so bright that it kind of creates a glare that's so funny Gold hammers doing fantastic. But here's the troublesome area. You guys can kind of see up there. Look at all that hair algae. Sorry for the glare, I'm trying my best. Not sure what's going on today. But tons of hair algae. It kind of gets lost in the fact that I run a lot of blues, but if I were to turn it on white, you would definitely see a lot of it. Beach Bum has a little bit of sand on it. It's doing incredible. Here's some of my new Zoas. So I'm working on getting my Zoa garden back to shape. Local reefer hooked it up. Funny story, one day I woke up and one of my plugs was completely gone. I didn't know where it went. Yesterday, roaming around, I found it right there. I put it out to Bloodsucker and there's a Blasto frag back there that I'm gonna be gluing. So, also Reefa Palooza is right around the corner. So I definitely wanna have this aquarium ready so I can pick up some really nice corals because I don't like seeing any exposed rock in my tank. I like everything full of, full of coral. So I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for chalices, zoanthids. I always say no more torches, but here we are. So I might end up looking for torches. I don't know. Regarding the livestock, I still want to add some fish. Not sure what I want to add. I know I want to add it to mini tang because they're great at just, at just keeping everything nice and clean. All they do is pick at the rock. They prevent hair algae. Um, they're pretty peaceful for the most part. You guys have heard me say I'm one of yellow tanks so bad, but with this guy right here, it's gonna be kind of tough because he's aggressive. And to be frank with you, the mimic tank, he's pretty aggressive too. So beautiful, look at this fish. Let me give you guys some perspective, right? Sometimes it's kind of hard to see how large this aquarium is. This is a big tank. This is a really large tank. I got three radions. A Gen 5 and, two, uh, excuse me, two Gen 5s and a Gen 6. Look at the Mimic right there. So I am going to be feeding the aquarium as well. That way you guys can take a look at it. But I just wanted to give you all a quick little update so you can see how everything is doing. We're finally getting some new growth on the Space Invader Chalice. But yeah, so enough talking. Let me get to cleaning this tank, feeding everybody, and then you can kind of get a good look at what's going on. All right, Reefer, so here I have some thought out mices, good hearty amount. Let's put it in. Let's see these guys go to town. You might even see the engineer gobies come out. I do have a really big marine beta in here, but everything is looking pretty good. So, so funny if you see that little bang guy in right here, for some reason, he's not accepted by this one. So half the time they spend everything fighting and chasing each other. There's the Marine Beta coming out. He just, oh, oh he kind of went in real quick. One of my favorite fish, I'll see if I can see them anywhere, is, you can kind of see them in that cave. See the back of them right there? That They're my engineer gobies. They're full grown. If you don't know anything about reefing, you would probably think that they're eels because of how big they are and how they look. The cleaner ass always doing his job. Oh, whoa. There you kind of saw the engineer. Oh, there you see them. You see them back there? Let me see if I can zoom in. Look at these guys. One of my favorite fish in my aquarium. I would never have an aquarium without them. 
You want them to go in there early so they can establish the home. If you have shaky, um, like if your aquascape isn't too solid, there's a possibility that they can mess up your rock work. So you wanna make sure that your rocks are stable because um, they do dig. And I have heard cases where the aquascape falls on them. So be careful. All right, reefers, I got my brand new toothbrush. It's a little dark in here because I was filming. What I'm gonna do just to make this so much easier is I'm gonna turn my radions white because then you're really gonna see the impact of, uh, of that nasty hair algae. Okie dokie. All right, so let's make it just pretty white. Because right now it's kind of easy for the hair algae to kind of hide away. I'm using the Mobius app, which love-hate relationship. All right, so let's go back. Okay. So here we go. I'm gonna make them white. Oh yeah, there you can really see. There we get a good look at some of the hair algae. I had aptasia. Oh man, why is it so purple? All right, let's see if we can do this the right way. Get this nice and right bright. There. Right there, it's purple. That's so trippy, isn't it? You have a little bit of a blurry, so I can see. No, that. I think you can see it though. Right there. Right there. There we go. That's the best right there, right? No, all the back. Right there. Right there. Wow. It's pretty bad. It's pretty, let me get a towel. You don't so. realize how bad it is. You don't? Because the blues hide it. All right, folks. I got my towel. Do you have a tangent killer? I do, but first we just got a, jeez. Those are monsters. I'm gonna use this net because I'm a big old chicken. I want my clumps to bite me. So I'm just gonna go like this. That's where I'm gonna move this out of the way. Now I'm gonna get in here and get the business. Look at that. So actually what I'm gonna do first is pull as much as I can manually. Look at all this. Look at all this. Thumbnail. <laughs> That's disgusting. Dude, there's so much freaking hair out of here. I feel like I'm working someone's hair out. That's probably why they call it hair. Look at all this. That's nasty. Wash your butt. That's freaking gross. Look, 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 look. It's like freaking. It's like, look at this. It's like I'm in the ocean. Is it a napkin? No, not yet. There's, there's so much clunkiness. Now, I know you can use chemicals. Me personally, I'd rather not do this so much. So much. So freaking much. So it's like you have to remove as much as you can first because the toothbrush isn't gonna help out until You've removed a lot of long strands. Long hair. Leave a comment if you guys have dealt with this before. I'm sure it's something that's super common in the hobby. 
And if you use chemicals, what chemicals do you use to get rid of the hair on you? Because this is disgusting. See the tangs acting all crazy? Look at this. Isn't he supposed to eat it? Dude, these tangs are too lazy, too fat. Because I feed them too much. But I have to feed them because I don't want to brush them. What coral is this purple one with the green dots? Purple with the green dots? Um, I don't know. I got it from somebody. I think it was Sean. What is it, Azoa? Oh, it's an encrusted one. Look, look, it doesn't stop. I'm gonna use the brush. Almost. get some a lot of the stuff out and then I'll, and then I'll videotape when I'm done all right reefers check this out disgusting toothbrushes full of crap clean the back up still a little dirty but there was so much aptasia tank looks a little murky I am going to step up the flow that way we can get everything nice and stirred up I have to glue some of the corals that fell in the process and water is almost done, so let's keep going. All right, reefers, so there's a little bit of bad news. Got a mess going on right now. My return pump went kaput. It's $500 to replace that return pump. Is the Vectra L2, I think it is. So I think maybe a little bit of water, I don't know what it could have been, but that started smelling really weird. So maybe it's good that I have two because you never know when something like this could happen. So I'm gonna go to my local LFS and... I am never gonna financially recover from this. Just buy another one. And then I'm gonna try to see if I get some warranty for what just happened. So, all right, be right back. All right, Reefer, so it's about 24 hours later. Tank is crystal clear. Corals are happy. You can kind of see the rock is way cleaner. It's, it's insane how much cleaner this aquarium actually is. There's a couple small little areas of hair algae, but I was shocked how much damage we actually did regards to removing... Um, a lot of the nuisance hair algae. So super happy about that. Fish didn't seem phased by the craziness. So regarding the return pump. Mounted the controllers there. New pump is in the back working nicely. I am going to be sending out the other pump. So I should be sending that out any day now. Um, and get that and see if there's anything we can do if we can fix it i've had it for about three months but i guess now i'll have a backup so i guess this is part of the hobby all right reefers so i hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of zola tank boys don't forget to smash that like subscribe and leave a comment and if you see me at reefapalooza say what's up guys because i love seeing all the supporters till next time you know I can't end this video without giving one of you guys a shout out, so we're gonna put that comment right here. Till next time, Zoatane boys out.